have our audience today, a live audience, right up there, watching the Pink Barrio doing a video. Well, the wind just started up, but I'm going to keep going anyway. So much noise anyway. So, an environmental working group. Did an analyst, and they found that 70% of all non-organic vegetables and fruits had pesticide residue on them. The worst affected was non-organic strawberries, spinach, and kale, but many, many, many other types of food was infested with pesticides. So people that are exposed to these pesticides that they measured for are at high risk of cancer. Not medium risk or low risk, but high risk of cancer. You should pay attention to that. They know what they're talking about. How long have we studied this now? So this working group also found that 90% of humans in the U.S. have mild to high levels of pesticide in their urine. Now people, we can solve this one really easy. You just eat organic, grow your own food, leave out the pesticides and herbicides, go completely organic. Having these pesticides in your body will increase the chances of you getting nervous system impacts, skin and eye irritation, and cancers of all kinds, and... So, why would anybody be eating non-organic food? That, that just uh, kind of blows my mind, really. See, the reason that's so mind-blowing is because we all knew about this back in the 60s, 1960s and 70s. And there were all these new food stores called health food stores at that time, sold organic fruits and vegetables. And they were quite, uh, quite the thing. Everyone got into it and started buying it. And then when it came to, uh, well, we shouldn't be eating meat either, they sort of abandoned the whole thing and started going for the going for the meat and everything, everything that's not healthy for the planet. And they, I actually had one say that, that they thought that they had done everything they need to do, that they have done it all, and that they can hand it off to somebody else while they continue to eat meat and have bad practices. But I just wanted to show you something over here. It's right over there. Okay, one more thing I wanted to talk about was the responsibility of the temp Democrats here in the U.S. That that party that calls themselves le left and ran on the Green New Deal and health care of some sort have completely backed off all that. But did anybody really expect that they would get anywhere with that when they don't want it themselves? The wealthy want the money, and the Democrats are just as wealthy, if not wealthier, than the Republicans. That money is what's uh, driving these two parties. When are the people of the U.S. going to learn that the mob is in control, both Democrats and Republicans. That's why no impeachment, because they know that they all could be impeached and put behind bars if everything comes out. And I suspect that the orange man has threatened them with that. So we're just gonna let all this stuff kind of drift away, uh, split apart, get people all bored with it, and sooner or later, nobody will go to jail, really, and the mobsters will lead on here in the U.S., and they really can't be bothered with doing their homework on who they're voting for. But while we're walking here, I wanted to show you guys these beautiful flowers.
So I know a lot of people get on here when I talk about just one part of the environmental situation and they say that that part isn't important, it's this part that's important. And uh, the reason I'm just doing that is because I'm, I'm taking bits and pieces apart and looking at them very closely instead of looking at the big picture all the time. So next video is going to be on global dimming. And I've already done some preliminary work on that and it just blows my mind. Well, I'll, I'll talk about it tomorrow, or the next video. Unfortunately, my vehicle got uh, attacked again. More parts taken off from the uh, back end of it and the underneath side. The ignition system and all the wiring was stolen for the uh, value of the copper. I wish the orange man would do something with the U.S. economy. It would sure be nice. When you look at it, it's almost as flat as it's ever been. And people are not making any more money than they have. And the money situation is getting desperate in many parts of the U.S. So Pelosi, put impeachment on the damn table. Stop being a wuss. You're going to get caught sooner or later with your wrongdoings, just like everyone else up there. Everybody's part of it, and everyone's got their hand in the pot. 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 So I definitely appreciate all the uh, comments that I saw in the last video, the ups and the downs. And let's remember, I can't comment back, or it screws up the comment section. That's one of the punishments they give YouTubers that talk about politics. They uh, hassle them all the time. But we don't let that stop us. We continue on. And until next time.